Vis-a-vis have had a long uh, relationship with Durham University that spans back 30 years. We started off um, with classrooms and we're building up to seminar rooms, lecture theatres and then new builds. Uh, now we've set a uh, product set as well which is great. As the university considers the requirements of the future, we wanted to ensure that as we go about the construction of this new state-of-the-art building, we deliver something for the future which is quite extraordinary. It gives us the capability to teach not just how we need to teach now, but how we'll be teaching in 5, 10, 15 and 20 years into the future. To give us a platform that is agile, is flexible and will provide a student experience that is second to none. The process basically started with some conversations internally within the business. I wrote up some basic technical specifications about how the spaces are going to work. They went out for tender through the main contractor and vis-a-vis -vis was successful in that process. Flexibility was one of the biggest things we needed to look for, so what we came up with was the AMX SVSI system that allows any input and any output to be sent across the building, which gives them complete flexibility. So there's 130 inputs and about 150 outputs across the building, and anything can be sent to anywhere. AV over IP gives us a lot of flexibility in how we can configure space. Part of the reason that we have been able to do that is that we have followed a university standard for the design and implementation, which has meant that if you've taught in some of our other teaching spaces across campus, you can come in here and you can master the basic capabilities of the technology really quickly because it's very similar to spaces that you've taught in elsewhere. I was really glad to have the space because I think from someone who is from a BA background, someone who reads a lot of books and we have a lot of physical materials, being in the old library which was just full of people only using their laptops, only using their computers and not having space when I needed to be there for the books. Um, I'm really glad that this space opened up so we can have more of a spread of different types of learning. Sometimes we do big group projects together. Usually we have like one master copy of the PowerPoint. So if I was in like one of these little groups, I could put that on the screen and then every other person, if maybe it's on like a, a cloud document or something, you could see how each person is editing it there. So I think it would work really well with that. And also if it's more of a teaching experience where the lecture is going round, I think it would be really good if you found a question that you didn't quite know how to answer. Just throw that up on the screen, then the lecturer could help, your little group around you could help, and maybe even other groups could look over and see like, oh, I might know how to do that, maybe I'll go over and help them there. Uh, the feedback we've got now, people are in the building, has been fantastic. Uh, we've not had any negative comments. Everybody's been really receptive to the new technology. We've run some, run some great training sessions with staff, just making sure they're familiar with the kit. But what we've done here is we've used the, the sort of fundamental uh, principles that we've applied for the last 10 years at Durham. We've just applied them to the new technology. So from the user's point of view, they don't know anything's different. But from our point of view and a support point of view, we've got maximum flexibility. The vis-a-vis -vis project manager, Paul, has been on site um, throughout the whole project. Uh, he's still here now, uh, just making sure that everything's absolutely running smoothly. Any little niggles we've had have been resolved very quickly by the uh, support team, which has been fantastic. I'm really proud to have worked on this job. I think it's a really impressive building. I think the results are fantastic, and I think the university is much better off as a result of it. We've got some fantastic spaces for students uh, and some fantastic spaces for lecturers to teach in, and that ultimately just leads to fantastic student experience at Durham. The journey from conception through to the realisation of the, the built fabric that we see here in Durham today has been a very exciting journey. It's been arguably the most ambitious um, IT development project that the university has ever undertaken and it's left us in the position where we now have a, a real flagship development, not just for Durham, not just for the, the UK higher education market, but something that has global uh, presence and importance. I think it's symptomatic of the way in which we want to develop space in the future and create a really agile teaching environment.